Good day legends, Peter here. So today we're just going to install an oil catch can. We'll put um, a bit more of the technical side of things in our blog. We got a ProVent one, which is uh, made in uh, Germany. So pretty bulky, but it seems fairly simple to install. You get all your uh, hose clamps and fittings and everything else you need and then you get some instructions which are pretty detailed explain it quite easily the um, hoses as well are labeled so you know which hose goes where so L for lower, U for upper everything you need so we'll give it a crack looks easy, let's see how long it takes let us know if you got any questions so we already got the pre-filter with the bracket from Western Filters. So the ProVent catch can bolts onto these two holes that you got here. So you replace the hose that's coming from the air intake into the crankcase. So drain hose connected to the ProVent, clamp tightened, and then the drain tap at the bottom fitted. So the stainless bolts, I always like to add a bit of grease on them beforehand just to make sure you don't uh, stuff up the threads. I've had that problem before. Um, and the Western Filters bracket already comes pre-threaded. So you just need a 13mm spanner and you're good to go. Also with this uh, bracket, this bracket that's on the Pro vent, you there's a little clip on the back here so you can uh, adjust it just so you get um, your inlet and outlet hose connection in the right spot. I want them facing out this way. So it just depends on your four wheel drive and your setup. Tightening up these bolts. Good job for a rainy day. It's coming down hard at the moment. So the Pro Vent has been mounted onto the, the bracket um, in front of the pre filter. I will deal with this hose underneath here to hide it out of the way so that it's not um, going to be in the way of any moving parts and everything else. So now the next step is to remove the factory hose from the air intake to the crankcase. So I'll do that now and then start connecting the hoses provided with the kit. Loosen the clamp. should just come off and there's another clamp down here loosen that and I should just be able to pull that off oh, much easier than I expected Well, the rain has come down again. Hopefully you can still hear me. But yes, yeah, so you loosen this um, factory clamp, lift that up, put the hose underneath it. And then slide it on. 
and then tighten up that hose clamp. So the bottom hose is now connected. We'll now do the, um, so that's the hose coming from the air intake to the bottom of the catch can. We'll now do the top hose that goes to the crankcase. So just tightening up the hose that's going from the crankcase back to the top of the catch can. This one's a lot easier to run. And I've been lazy and I've got my bigger flathead screwdriver, but anyway. So the upper hose connected, going back to the top of the crankcase. Just got to tidy up the this hose, just to tie them up with some zip ties. Hose clamps are all on nice and tight. And you can see now, just finished it off with a couple of zip ties to get the hose all nice and tidy. Uh, had to move this um, clamp here just because I didn't, it was going to be rubbing up against the hose and it's uh, the bottom hose that goes from the air intake to the bottom of the catch can. It's a fairly tight fit, but I suppose it's made to fit perfectly, which is good. Really easy to do, a bit fiddly in some places, but yeah, if I can do it, then pretty much anyone can, I'm sure, with my mechanical ability. So yes, yeah, so that goes well as a kit with the pre-filter which I installed a while ago. I think, I can't remember the top of my head, but check Western filters, I think all up with the kits and the bracket. Is it somewhere between five, maybe 600 bucks all up?